Imagine an old man who was very stubborn and refused to try new tech, even if it was way better. But he was also super generous and gave without expecting anything in return. So yeah, ISFJs are basically Saint Nick. I'm Travel Knight and I'm on a quest to make fun of each of the 16 personality types and everything else. If you like the journey on that journey, click the subscribe button and ring the jingle bell. This type was suggested by Brawlio ZT. And if you want to help me pick what type to cover next, comment down below. And thanks. So without further ado, number one, they're content. ISFJs have a place in mind they want to get to. They make plans to get there, and then once they get there, they stay there. Why move? They just work super hard to get where they are, and it seems to be a good fit for them. What, did you expect them just to do all that hard work and leave? They're not ENFPs. ISFJs are good at maintaining things. Once they get into the groove, they're like a well-oiled machine. They have little interest of converting other people to their ways of doing things, and they base everything on personal experience. Constantly going back and thinking about what solutions worked then and how to use them now. Number two, they're stubborn. Remember how I said they get into a groove? Well, they hate getting out of that groove. They'll keep on dancing without music, if needed. You know the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, they take that to a whole new level. If it's broke, don't fix it. Because then you'll fix it wrong and it'll be worse than before. Basically, trying to get an ISFJ to try something new is like getting an INFP to think logic. ISFJs have little interest in new ideas or abstract concepts. Everything is based on personal experience. And they really don't care much about your experiences. And any kind of data or numbers you show, they're just gonna be bored because math is lame. I mean, come on, we all know eight is just a zero with a belt. Number three, they're givers. ISFJs love to help others. It's kind of like their calling card. They fit really well on service jobs and an ISFJ would give their shirt off their back if they felt you needed it. And the best part is, this help comes with absolutely no strings attached. They're not gonna knock on your door in the middle of the night and ask you to help them dig a hole in some random forest because you borrow their bubble mower. All an ISFJ wants is a little bit of appreciation. A thank you. You don't need to build a 20 foot golden statue. An eight foot one will do just fine. If you reject an ISFJ's help, they'll oftentimes get very offended. They want to feel needed like they have a place, a team to be on. They don't mind playing pitcher or shortstop or long stop, just that they're helping and feeling appreciated. This can lead to codependency problems, and it can lead to them helping when they're really not wanted. Well, ISFJs are pretty good at reading people, they can sometimes prioritize their own need to help over people's actual need for that help. Number four, they're very logical. You might not think about this from a feeler, but ISFJs have TI as one of their cognitive functions. So things need to have a kind of logic to them. There's a lot of logic to the if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality, as well as using your own personal experiences to develop routines and systems to help deal with the problems in life. There's a beauty in simplicity. You know round wheels work, and why the heck would you use tennis ball wheels? ISFJs tend to be very pessimistic with new ideas. They tend to be the first to point out all of the logical problems with these systems and aren't really swept up on the value of new. And they often tend to be right. Not always, and sometimes they need to be pushed to try new stuff, but there's a very stable logic with the ISFJ. Number five, they tend to neglect themselves. I mentioned earlier that ISFJs are givers, and that's great. But often ISFJs give way too much. Even Santa, the great giver he is, doesn't give away his obedient elf slaves. That would be ridiculous. Giving needs to have boundaries. They also like to hold in their feelings and don't want to burden other people with them. Even though they have absolutely no problem carrying other people's burdens, in fact, <laughs> They get offended if you don't. So why don't they think others will get offended that they're holding things in? I don't know. ISFJs can be easily taken advantage of by manipulative people. And that's not cool. 
It could start off small, like painting a fence, then evolve all the way into driving from bank to bank for some reason. But that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the look at the ISFJ. If you like this one, you might like my video on the ISFP. I've been Treble Knight, and I'll catch you guys all next time.